Colleen from Keeping the Peace, Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and today we're starting a new series called Concealed Carry Tips. I'm not sure exactly how many videos there will be. I'm going to leave it open-ended just because I might think of more tips. But each video will contain three tips taken from my own personal experience as I've gone through this concealed carry journey. The first tip that I have for you today is make the decision to carry and stick with it. Be determined. Persevere. The reason I tell you this is because back six and a half or so years ago when I first started concealing, or actually carrying, I should say, not concealing, I really didn't know how to do it. Uh, I didn't know any other females that carried, and I was trying to figure it out. And to be quite honest, it was hard. To figure it out. I would put a gun on my body and it felt terrible. Uh, it felt uncomfortable. It felt like everyone could see it. I tried purse carry. I tried a lot of things and I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to figure it out on my way, you know, myself. And there were a lot of days where I just didn't want to fool with it. It was just too much trouble and I would leave it at home. Or I would put it in my purse and leave my purse in my trunk. <laughs> um, Thankfully, what kept me, or what caused me to persevere, I think, was my husband constantly asking, do you have your gun on you today? Uh, you're getting ready to go for a walk. Do you have your gun on you today? Uh, and a lot of the times he would ask me that question, I would say, no, it just feels bleh, you know. I couldn't figure it out, and I wasn't determined in the beginning, but the determination came as I started learning more things and trying new holsters, trying different guns, trying new locations, and slowly over the years, I have figured it out. It's taken a while. So that's the first tip. Make the decision to carry, be determined, persevere. The second tip that I have for you today is be flexible with yourself. Go ahead and accept the fact that if you're gonna become a concealed carrying female, you're gonna probably have to change your style, your wardrobe, your flair, the way that you express yourself with your clothing, it might have to change a little bit. For me personally, in the beginning, I one day decided I'm gonna carry a gun every day, period. And since I didn't know how to conceal it under my clothes, I just open carried. I open carried for several years before I started daily concealed carrying. I probably open carried for about three years, maybe a little bit more than that, before I started concealing all the time. Every now and then I still open carry, but it's rare. It's on a day when I'm gonna just spend the day at the range or something like that. But um, when I went to open carrying, I didn't really have to change my body shape. My body shape stayed the same and the gun was on the outside of my body shape. So as a female, I know you ladies understand what I'm talking about. You work really hard to maintain a body shape. So you don't really want a big lump, or you don't want it to look like you've gained 10 pounds. So putting a gun inside your clothes can make you look that way, and I wasn't at that time willing to accept that. So I put the gun on the outside of my clothing and maintained my body shape, and I was fine with that. Until several years went by and I got really tired of always wearing my, my shirt tucked in, and always wearing pants with belt loops, and always having a big gun belt, and always having a holster in the five o'clock, and magazines on the other side, and feeling like I wasn't very feminine. <laughs> Not that you can't be feminine dressed that way, but I was dressing that way every day. Um, and it just got old. Females like to sort of change things up a little bit. They like to wear different types of outfits. And I, I just got burnt out on wearing the tucked in shirt, the belts, uh, and I wanted to play around with feminine clothing a little bit. I wanted to just kind of have a different flair. So I started experimenting with concealed carry. And I tried a lot of different holster systems before I found ones that worked well for me. I found, uh, you know, places that I could conceal and tried some different things. And now it's all worked out. I'm able to conceal carry on a daily basis wherever I'm going. So I, w I had to be flexible. I had to be willing to change my style a little bit. Those of you who know me personally, you know that over the last six years, my look or my style or whatever you want to call it has drastically changed at least three times. Um, and that's just part of it. It's part of the journey, and it's okay. The third tip for today is find the spots on your body where you can conceal a handgun and then stick to them. 
I know for me personally, I tried a lot of different things that I was seeing online. I follow a lot of ladies that conceal carry on YouTube, and I tried some of the things that they tried and couldn't make some of them work. But that's how you find out. It's trial and error. You have to try things, and if they work, you keep doing it. If they don't work, you ditch that idea and you move on to something else. So I know for my own personal body shape and type, I can conceal in the 5 o'clock behind my strong side hip. I can conceal in a belly band at the 12 o'clock with the grips directly up. I can conceal below my strong side knee if I'm wearing long skirts or at the ankle. Uh, those are the places that I'm able to do it. And for me, that's great. Um, there are other ladies that are able to conceal in other locations that don't work for me. So you have to experiment with different holsters, different guns, different outfits, and different spots on your body until you find those perfect areas. If you can find one, that's great. Stick to that and, and use it until you get so burnt out with, <laughs> with it that you just have to try something else. Then you'll find a second. That's kind of how it worked for me. I found one. It worked great. I did it for a really long time. Got bored with my clothing, wanted to do some different things, so I found another one. And now I've found four, so I have a lot of flexibility. I have several different guns that I use, a number of different holsters that I use for different clothing setups, and now I have a lot of flexibility. So, number one, decide to carry, stick to your decision. Number two, be flexible with yourself, be willing to change your style. And number three, find the spots on your specific body that will allow the concealment of a chunk of metal of a handgun. I hope this has been helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. God bless. Bye.